here I will show you one method for retouching hair in Photoshop. So let's get started by adding a layer over our photo. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our spot healing brush. And that is right here. Now you want to make sure that your spot healing brush, that you've got um, the content aware chosen for the type which is right here and then you'll also want to make sure that you are sampling all layers um, which is this little icon right here and once you've got those settings in place let's go ahead uh, we'll make our brush uh, just a little bigger than a strand of hair and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then let's just go on some small motions and just start painting right over the strands of hair and what you'll notice is uh, the content aware option that we've chosen is actually filling um, the strands of hair with the um, content from your image um, and it does a really nice job here of removing um, any unwanted hairs so we'll go ahead and we'll sort of go around the image and just paint out any that are real distracting some of these are pretty distracting for me i'm going to zoom back out a little bit now um and you'll notice that i sort of stayed away from this little nest of hair in here um, because i don't want to use the healing brush for that um next what i'd like to do is create another layer then we're going to grab the pen tool uh, you can type key uh p on your keyboard and that will select your pen tool and then um, we're going to select, we're going to make a selection here um, that sort of goes right around the edge of her hair, okay? So if you click one point, then click your next point and drag just to sort of go around. Just follow the edge of her hair. Then we'll click another point down here, and again, we'll just sort of drag that. We'll click another point down here. That's pretty good. And we'll come out here. And then we're going to, going to go kind of wide here. Go back to your beginning point just to close that selection. And then let's right click just to create the selection. So we're going to go ahead and make a selection. Um, I like to put a, a one pixel feather radius on this. So I've got one chosen in there. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see now that it has created a selection. What we're going to do next is we're going to grab our clone tool which is right here and we're going to clone um, areas of your image and we're going to paint out the hair in here but it's only going to paint within the selection that we just made so let's go ahead and choose some areas um, maybe from over here oops I'm going to hit control Z. I didn't want to go that far out um, maybe right here so let's click in there and let's just sort of paint over that and I, I like to do little sort of sweeping motions uh, that way you can always go back and hit undo in case you've really sort of chosen the wrong portion of your image to clone from so I think this is working out pretty well right now and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and clone this out in here as much as I can all those little stray hairs I think that's looking pretty good right there. Um, now to deselect that, you can hit Control H on your keyboard, and that will um, that will actually hide your selection. So now you can see um, that we've we've cloned a lot of the the hair out. Now what I like to do is actually work a little bit with the fill on this. Maybe bring it back just somewhat. Just, and you can see how it sort of makes it more of a believable edge. Let me zoom in just somewhat here. Um, this is the fill at 100% where we've cloned everything out. And like I said, I like to bring it back just somewhat because <clears throat> I'm not looking for a perfectly um, masked hair. I think uh, real believable hair has a strand here or there. But what we don't want, and I'll go back and turn off these layers, uh, you can see the original that is there's so much distraction here with these hairs um, and then if we turn on our first layer again this is where we kind of got rid of those big sweeping hairs 
and then we sort of got rid of like that big mask of hair here. But I still think it looks pretty um, believable. And one way to do that is to make your selection with a pen tool and then to um, just work with the fill layers here to bring back as much or as little of it as you want. That's it, 100, that's it with no fill on it at all, but just kind of working it to where it gets just believable enough for you. And I really like how that looks. So once again, the before and after. Mm -hmm.